Oh. I'm sorry, chat. Anniversary. Swipe up and come follow. Swipe up and come follow. <laughs> okay. I sound so stupid right now because I'm so like congested. I like actually sound like an idiot. Kevy, thank you so much for the 500 stars. Hi, I'm back. Hello. Huh. <sighs> did you get your test today? I did. I had a mole removed today, guys. I know that sounds so hot. Um, I'll, let me talk about that. So I went to like my dermatologist to get like my moles checked, which I don't really have many moles and they're not like big or anything. I think I have like two moles that I know of, unless it's like my beauty mark on my face, which I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a beauty mark like right there. It's super tiny, but you know, whatever. So I went to the dermatologist today and they did a full body scan and I was really embarrassed because I don't wear underwear much during the day. So I forgot to wear underwear. Hey, Corino, I made 280K for the year. BTC is doing well. What the Bit fuck? Cash out half when it gets to at least 60K. Jesus cool Christ. Face. Cool Alex, face. Congrats. Congrats. That's, that's awesome. That's so, that's so awesome. Thank you so much for the stars. Um, wow. That's crazy. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? So I went to the, to the dermatologist to do like a routine, whatever, checkup thing. And they like checked all my moles. Well, I was so super embarrassed because I forgot to wear underwear. So I'm just like butt ass naked, like butt ass naked. Just like, I'm so sorry. I forgot to wear underwear. She's like, it's fine. Like, don't worry about it. I'm just standing there like butt ass naked, getting my body examined for like, Happy New Year, Corey. I don't know. Comma confetti ball. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to butcher your name, but thank you. I love you. Thank you so much for the stars. Um, anyways, so she, she checked me and I have this mole on my back and I don't really have any moles except for this one particular mole and it always itches and I always scratch it and it always hurts. So I was like, get rid of it. We don't want it. Can I get rid of it? And it was like a hundred bucks and they just shaved it off. It so gross. They like ca cauterized my skin after like shaving it off. Um, if you don't know what cauterized is, it's uh, like, I'm pretty sure it's where they burn the skin to make it like stop bleeding or whatever. It smelled so nasty. If you ever smelled burning skin, it smells so gross. But so I got my mole, my mole removed today. And then I also went and got, um, STD testing. So that was cool and fun and fresh. Um, they took literally like six vials of blood because I also did like a, a blood testing thing i'm not really sure so oh my god inching doesn't sound good are they gonna check it i was actually wondering like if that's like a bad sign or something like if that means like uh oh there's something wrong because that's why i was getting it checked in the first place and she said it looked completely like just like a whatever they call like a benign or whatever she wasn't worried at all she's like honestly i'm not worried at all and the only reason that it's being sent in is because when you cut it off, it's like protocol to send it in. So it's getting sent in anyways, but she's like, I'm not worried at all. Like I'm 99.9% sure that literally nothing. In the last week. So YouTube gaming community is amazing. I've been going through the hardest times of my life right now. And aw. The YouTube gaming community is Thanks, amazing. Thomas. I've been going through Thank you for the, the three hardest time of my life right now. I feel now that. It's, it's, a, it's a hard time, helps. especially like right now after the holidays getting into the new year and everything that's going on. Thank you so much for the stars though. Do you ever keep on getting tagged on a TikTok video in the last week? I don't know how to check my tags. I just kind of go through like my for you page and that's about it, Omar. Um, Elver, thank you so much for the 500 stars. But yeah, so. Um, but yeah, so I got that done. And then when I had my mole removed, it was the most traumatic experience of my life. LOL. Oh, well, they numbed me. I don't know if that's they just like injected my back with lidocaine and then just shaved it off and then cauterized it to make it stop bleeding. And now I have a band aid on my back. She told me I can't take a bath, but I did it anyways. I just didn't put it in the water. She said that was OK. 
I fucking like baths way too much. But um, if you're not following the stream, please follow the stream. We're trying to hit 800,000 followers, and if I don't hit 800,000 followers soon, I'm gonna be really upset. Um, anyways, so <laughs> yeah, we did that today. We got all the vials of blood, dude. There's so many fucking vials of blood. I was like, holy shit, I'm gonna bleed out. But I know that it's like a minuscule amount and it'll just regenerate or whatever. But holy shit, health all good? I mean, so far my exam was good. I just gotta get my testing back. I'm more curious to get my test back for, where do you plan on moving to, staying in LA or moving? I'm moving in LA. Alex, I'm moving in LA. I'm really excited. I get the keys on the first and I'm so excited. My cloud couch comes on the fourth, dude. The fourth. like. It came so quickly. It came so fucking quickly. I don't know how it did that, but um, I'm more interested to see, like, because I got, like, that so STD panel thing to done, to but I'm more interested to see moving to the east coast. Um, what, <laughs> what's it called? What my blood work is going to come back for, like, because I just got, like, a blood count, like, I don't know, like, just, like, urine, ur urine analysis? Like, just, like, health-wise, like, just, like, what's my blood like? What's I don't know. I don't really know what it checks for, but I did all that, and I'm really curious to see. I'm really nervous, though. Also, is, is this... Okay, I need to ask you guys a question. Do you guys ever get randomly tired during the day where you feel like you just have to go to bed? Or is that just me and I should be worried? Because, like, sometimes... I don't know if it's just habit because I'm napping a lot, but I'll be, like, driving home, and I'm like, oh, my God, I need to go home and go to sleep. Like, not actually, but I'm like, I really want to go home right now and go to sleep. But the second that I lay down in my bed, I don't fall asleep. I just lay there. Is that normal? Yes, always lack of sleep. Just...